KFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento talking to you from TFNN, and we are discussing the early morning, early afternoon movement in the stock market. As most of you might not know, as we started off sharply lower on Sunday night, and since that time, we have been going higher and higher and higher. We're now up on the day on all four of the stock indices, the NASDAQ, the S&P, the Dow Jones, and also the Russell. All of those are going higher. So that's a very, very positive uh, event happening, especially in the face of the, the $2 a barrel we're having um, move up in the crude oil. Uh, the precious metals still working lower. We got gold down about $10, uh, silver down about $0.20. Cents. So those are moving lower. The U.S. dollar is basically steady to slightly lower. Not too much going on in there, and that's reflected in the Treasury bond market, which is down just a, just a very, very small amount after being sharply lower on Sunday night. There appears to be some buying occurred uh, right after the fourth uh, unidest unidentified uh, phenomenon, the balloon, whatever they, these things are, they're in the news talking about them, uh, was reported being shot down. Folks, I tell you, you can't make this stuff. It's like comedy hour. It's like Abbott and Costello are writing the, uh, are writing the material uh, for the news folks uh, these days. But anyway, we do have great volatility in the market, and it's going to get better and better uh, through 2023. I feel very strongly that we've been leading up to this point for quite a while Ever since we came out of that VIX index between 9 and 10 for so many years, we got it up to around 40, and now we're trading under 20. So we're going to have some incredible volatility. I really believe that. And we're starting to see it already. You know, when you have the S&P down 30, and then it's up 40. I mean, my goodness. And then you notice the action that we had on Friday, you know, up 90, down 80. I mean, those are... Those are moves that are used to be unprecedented, but that's not what's happening right now. So let's keep our powder dry. You know, trade when you want to, not when you have to, as David White would say. And I think uh, always good advice coming from someone who is incredibly smart. Okay, folks, we're going to take a break here. And when we get back, we're going to talk about the NASDAQ banking index because to me, that is the main pattern that you want to be focused on because this is the one that could lead you to a very, very lucrative position. We'll be right back. <laughs> 